Hello, hello, hello. Hey, hey. Hey. What's going on? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what are we doing? Okay. Okay. It's me, Skiz. Pinhead, what's up? Hello. All right. Today, hey. okay, let's go ahead. All right, today we're here with the WMCX Brighton Bar Woo! WMCX Night Interview. Yeah. Ooh, we're yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's All a crowd. Right. They love it. Okay, why don't you tell who uh, we're interviewing? We're interviewing two of the bands. Two of the bands. Today we have from Dodgeball, if you guys want to say your names and uh, what instruments you play. Uh, Brian, vocals and guitar. Okay. Alex, uh, guitars and vocals. Terry, drummer. All right, cool. And um, one member. Yeah, man. From Pure 13. Lone member. What's going on? Hey, what's up? I'm All David. Right. Play guitar and sing vocals. Cool. All right. Well, you got them here for MCX, Brighton Bar Night. We're good. You guys, all right. Go ahead, Skiz. <laughs> all right. Uh, okay. I guess I should start asking questions. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who should I ask to first? Actually, one more second. Okay, hold on. We have questions prepared. We're a professional radio station. We are a professional. Okay, here we go. I'm just a dork from the suburbs. Okay. Okay. Uh, what questions should we ask first? Okay. Um, all right, let's start with the uh, guys from Dodgeball. Uh, how'd you guys get together? How'd you guys get together as a group? Well, uh, I don't know. I moved down to the Point Pleasant area and uh, work at a bicycle shop. And uh, one day I decided to walk in and get some parts for my bike and... Brian started asking me a bunch of questions if uh, I play guitar and <laughs> if I want I was, to form a band. I, I was desperate. Do you mean training wheels? <laughs> <laughs> I was desperate for a band. And, uh, yeah, we found him, found Alex, then uh, just put out some flyers, found a bass player, found a drummer, and uh, things just happened from there. It's cool. 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 All right, uh, Pure 13 yeah, guy. Yeah. <laughs> The lone member, man. I'm sorry. Hey, <laughs> what happened to the rest good. of the, what happened to the rest of the band? Why? Uh, we got a story. That's why we're called Pure Thirteen. Obviously, nothing ever goes right for us. Uh. It's a good name for us. But uh, our drummer just happened to uh, break his hand last night. Oh, right, we were talking about. Yeah, you guys were talking about that before. So yeah. uh, he's not here right now. And my bass player, he's just you know who knows where he is. He could be MIA anywhere. Uh. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Well, how'd you got? How'd you Dom here? That's all that counts, right? Cool. Yeah. yeah. How'd you guys get together? Like, what's your uh, well, me and the drummer, we've known each other for quite a while now, since I was a sophomore in high school, which is about six years ago. So uh, we've been playing together for a long time, and uh, just always been in bands and stuff. And about a year ago, we decided, instead of being in other people's bands, we'd start our own band. And that's what we did, and we found our bass player. I happened to be working at a gas station, and some girl that frequented the gas station all the time knew a bass player, and we hooked up. And it's been you hooked up with the chick? <laughs> no, I didn't hook up with the chick because, uh, you know. Okay, all right, cool. I, all right. I got a girlfriend, but hey. All right. <laughs> all right. At well. the time, I didn't, but. All right. Go all right. ahead. Uh, uh, guys from uh, Dodgeball, uh, what bands are <laughs> Back you? Back and forth. We're okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you and you. Okay, you go ahead. and you. Uh, all right. Uh, what bands are you influenced by? Um, well, Lagwagon, we just heard. <laughs> strung, <laughs> strung out. Um, I don't know, The Descendants, all. Social you know, the, the poppier side. Yeah, yeah. Social Distortion. That's cool. School. That's cool. Okay. Power pop. Power. <laughs> Indie rock and power pop. Okay. We love metal. You like metal? <laughs> yeah, like what type of metal? Pantera. Pantera. Yeah. You gotta say Pantera. We're, we're Winger. Cor we're corporate hardcore band. <laughs> you corporate hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go corporate. <laughs> okay. Uh, how about you? <laughs> <laughs> what is? Is that the same question? Yes, sir. I have to repeat it. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Bachelor right. number one wasn't paying attention. Bachelor number one. If you, were, if I was an alarm clock, how would you wake me up now? Uh, what <laughs> bands? Your are, job. You're the alarm uh, clock. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. I'm not thinking. No, I'm not sure. Anyway, what bands are you influenced by? What, what type of stuff do you like to listen to? Um, my favorite band is is a band called Fifteen, which yeah, there is you a go. Really good band. I like their message. I like what they're about. Um, Screeching Weasel, Rancid. Social Distortion. I like all that pretty much. What's your favorite of 15 uh, record? Uh, Swain's First Bike Ride. There you go. And Choice is really good. Choice of a New Generation is really good. But then again, I also like Vision of Disorder and bands like that, but that has no influence in our music at all. But, you know, I like a lot of music. Okay, have you guys been, like, touring or, like, playing a lot of shows recently? Or, you know, where have you guys been? Like, any crazy stories that are going on with those? Either, either... <laughs> well, we're, we're a relatively younger band. We've only been together since, like, January. So we've been playing around... Um, you know, the Jersey circuit, stuff like that. Booking some stuff for the future, but, uh... Like firehouses and stuff and yeah, the whole deal. Yeah, you know. <laughs> the whole the making yeah, the rounds. Exactly, you know. We're, Bathrooms, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're going... <laughs> all over. We plan on going on tour for the next two years, and, uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but, yeah, that's, that's really about it. Just some upcoming shows, more local type stuff than anything. Yeah, have any of you guys played on the West Coast at all, or have you guys been like, anywhere? I haven't even been to the West Coast. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> I, I was in a band that toured a little bit. Um, you know, we played, like, New England, stuff like that. Uh, you know, the whole, like, Northeastern type thing, which was cool. Okay, cool. Um, 
What about, uh, what about, um, <coughs> Pure 13? I wait, what's, wait, what's, what's your name? What's I'm, I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention again. Uh, my name is David. David, David. all right. Yeah, so, okay. well, we're now you're known as Dodgeball uh, and David. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Dodgeball and David? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, uh, David. Yes. What was the question? <laughs> we're, we tour all over the place. We tour the Brighton Bar frequently. <laughs> uh, we tour up and down I'll pretty see much there. Brighton Avenue. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> all over Brighton exactly. Avenue. Uh, exactly. We play the same. We play the Casino Skate Park a lot. We do a lot of local stuff. We're, we're pretty much not a really live band. We don't really like to play live because we feel it just... Uh, the people are just ripping kids off. Uh -huh. Most of the time, bands a lot of times, too. Not Jack, though. We love Jack at the Brighton Bar. That's why we play <laughs> for him so much. But uh, a lot of these clubs, you know, they're just, you know... Did you, did you guys see the rumor that Stone Pony might be opening up again? They might be closing that place down with a dance club? I, nah. Oh, really? uh, which seductions? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't even know, know it was open. That. <laughs> yeah, I I did it ever open? I don't yeah, even know. That closed down too. Yeah. Seriously, everything's closing down. <laughs> I went to a show at Seductions and it was pretty wild. I'll have to tell you though, the strippers seemed to sneak their way out <laughs> <on> the stage. <laughs> it was pretty wild. That'll make for a good show. Uh, okay. Um, what else? Uh, okay, Dave, your um, the name of your album is For Years Wasted. What um, what brought that title, like, you know, about? Um, a lot of the songs I write, I write most of the lyrics and everything pretty much all have to do with really basically my life. I write, you know, for me and other people seem to relate to it, you know. It's mostly about relationships. A lot of it has to do with uh, ex-friends, ex-girlfriends. Ex girlfriends. You know, <laughs> all those I'll, I'll be listening to this a lot things. then. <laughs> yeah. All those things that, you know, you think they'll be there and people just seem to disappear every year. So, yeah, you know, that's, that's nice. basically what I write about, my own experiences that's all i know yeah what do you guys dodgeball guys okay. dodgeball. Yeah, dodgeball what do you guys like to write about like what's your like the main theme of your songs and stuff chicks just, just, <laughs> it always comes back to i think everybody the writes about chicks yeah they're evil <laughs> they are it's yeah. easier to Most write about definitely <laughs> <laughs> okay uh it's easier to write about things that are going on in your life than yeah you may try to make stuff up that is true yeah. making stuff up's fun though but yeah. it's Girl, girls usually give us plenty of things to talk about <laughs> and complain about you can stretch the truth know. a little bit you know yeah, yeah you gotta have them first yeah <laughs> Yeah. I'm making us sound like woman haters, but we're not. We love women. All women. <laughs> girls rock. Okay. Girls Susan. rule. Uh, anyway, um, okay. Oh, uh, what projects do you have coming up? Any, uh, like, new, like, a any, new... Any, uh, new CDs or, uh, any... Compilation stuff you might do? Um, well, we just, we just put out, like, a little five-song demo. Um, <clears throat> we're looking to get into the studio probably, like, mid-summer to do a full length. Um, there's some stuff, uh, compilation stuff, but nothing definite that I could really say that we're... That's gonna come out anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what about you, David? Yeah, we just uh, finished recording that EP actually, like less than like four months ago. But we're already gonna go back into the studio to record a full-length CD soon. We have uh, at least like 13 to 14 songs we're gonna put on there, and uh, it should be out hopefully by the end of the spring or the summer. I mean, we're hoping, but you never know. Things come up. Mm -hmm. Well, most of you guys are like you know pop punk, melodic punk based. Um, what do you think of like the scene like around like Jersey? Is there really much? Like, I know like Old Bridge has a scene. I know like some parts of North Jersey has a scene. What do you think about either, either of you guys? <laughs> New Brunswick's got a really good scene. There's a lot of great bands up there that uh, you know that we've got to play with over the years. That <clears throat> just a lot of fun stuff. There's some stuff going on up north too, like New Providence, Berkeley Heights area. A lot of good bands up there. Big Wig, Humble Beginnings. Yeah. You know some friends of ours. Those guys rock so. I think the scene around here is starting to grow somewhat. It's better than it was. Yeah, because I mean, I mean, I like hardcore and stuff, but it seems like there's like hardcore like everywhere. Not too yeah. much melodic Sometimes stuff. Sometimes too, uh, if you uh, don't get into uh, knowing someone, like or you're in a click, and when you're playing a show, and everyone else there knows that band, it's really hard to play to that type of crowd because everyone is just not really giving you a chance. They're just there to see their friends band, you know. Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of weird about the scene around here, but. Uh, it's yeah. tough too because there's there's just not a lot of places like punk venues, you know. Like there's, there's nothing around here. It seems like, like yeah. Like with us, uh, we're from like the shore area, you know, like south and everything, and there's nothing there. Like the Brighton is about the farthest south that anything goes, um, you know. Casino skate park, the Saint, you know. But like, there's really no places that have a lot of good punk shows, and it, it's tough because the ones that do, a lot of times they're, you know. 21 and over crowd and stuff and they start throwing beer bottles and stuff <laughs> yeah you know and like the older people just aren't coming out to see the shows anymore so it's getting harder and harder to put on all ages shows because you know just all the regulations and stuff like that we gotta start a mecca here we gotta start like a new beginning <laughs> seriously um do you want to play a track yeah let's uh what should we play first uh, uh dodgeball or uh pure 13 which one i all right i put i put both track okay. i put both cds in so i'm gonna play one and uh then i'll play the other one and we'll figure it out all right sounds good to me so here's uh, wait I'll, I'll tell you just give me a sec all right <laughs> just keep on talking okay and uh, all right uh which song yeah. are we playing um we're gonna be playing pawn off of dodgeball's right. latest l a anything you EP? want to tell us about last that? man standing Any? uh 
Not really. <laughs> it's a song. It's uh, it's got no, it's no preachy message or anything. Just you know, just a fun song, I suppose. Okay, David, uh, for you, that's yes. a track we're playing off of uh, your EP. Now, what can you tell us anything about that? Or basically, just a simple pop song that I wrote for a girl, and that there's nothing really to it except the basic mm. format. Do you guys hate real big song. fish? <laughs> Do you guys hate real big fish? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you can I sit. Because <laughs> yeah, cause, cause the other day I was making fun of him. I'm like, every song is like, I got a girl. She works at the 7-Eleven. That's like every song. I'm sorry. Anyway. You're going to hate us then because that's what we sound like. <laughs> really? No. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, no. We no, sound no. nothing like them. Good. Okay. All right. Just wondering. Okay. So you're going to play some, uh, going to play dodgeball first. All right. Paul, and then right after that, we're going to play... Check out the screaming guitar solo in the Pure 13 song, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> is there really? There is. It's a punk rock guitar solo. Only one. Oh, wow. That's, that's a rarity. It's like... Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, yeah. we're going to play some uh, Dodgeball, Paul, and then we're going to play Pure 13 for you. And don't forget, both these bands are playing tonight at uh, the Brighton Bar, WMCX night, uh, every Wednesday night. Uh, and tonight we have Dodgeball and Pure 13. And, and one, one Man, man army. army. And uh, they're all going to be there, and we will be there. What time does it start? Just... Uh, <laughs> hey, whatever, Dave, whatever time the sound Dave, guy gets there Let's leave that up to Dave uh, We were supposed to be on at 10 But uh, we'll, we'll be just sitting on the stage telling poetry or something <laughs> It's spoken, spoken word, word. Spoken word night yeah. There once was a man Okay, never mind The word's going to be about 9.30 9.30? 9.30 yeah. Okay you heard it here first Okay hey, We just got the word in And we have big we, and, uh, should, we talk, should, we, should we leave that as a, as a surprise though? Absolutely not <laughs> No Oh, we have our no surprises Mini Elvis Mini Elvis will be Given away tonight Anyway. One lucky person yes. will I'll be given. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll David will win it. Yes. <laughs> maybe you can have another. There's, there's your. The king. There's your. Uh, there's your new drummer. drummer. <laughs> there you go. Likeness. Seriously. If you got an outfit like that, he could play for me anytime. <laughs> 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 okay. See All right. Uh, so we're gonna play uh, from Dodgeball. Pawn. Pawn off their CD Last Man Standing. Uh, what? Which one is it in CD two? S- uh, CD. Oh, man, no, 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 it's CD2, it's CD2, that's right. right. The right, CD1's, right. like, on the fritz, so it's, like, it's all good. Okay, All right. Dodgeball with Pawn, last, uh, from the EP Last Man Standing here on WMCX. <laughs> All right. Okay. That, that was dodgeball pawn. You're in the X. All right. Hello. And he's getting everything. He's getting all the levels up. All right. Okay. The man. Uh, all right. That was, uh, who was that? Dodgeball, that was dodgeball with the pawn off their five song CD, uh, Last Man Standing. They're one of the bands playing tonight at the Brighton Bar for WMCX Night. Along with Pure 13. And uh, Last Man Standing. One, no, and one, one man, man army. army. <laughs> <laughs> one, one man what standing. Your last man standing. <laughs> well, one armed drummer. Know. There you go. One yeah, yeah, armed drummer. drummer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Jay's drummer's uh, project. Last man. Uh. <laughs> Jay's got a new band, One Arm Drummer. One Arm Drummer. <laughs> <laughs> Def Leppard now. <laughs> Okay. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. That was a low blow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Sorry. You wait, go ahead. Okay. Uh, what were we gonna talk about? We were gonna the talk whole. about the whole. What do you guys think about the whole idea of uh, selling out in punk? That's Quote unquote selling out, like you know, like the whole Green Day thing, the whole Offspring. Offspring. Um, yeah, you know. I don't know how you can uh, be in a band that's liked and not sell out. It's impossible. If you want to be in a band and not be liked, then you should just sit in your garage and play for the rest of your life. <laughs> that's you see. That's what I think. I mean, I, I've gone to so many shows and I've seen like a lot of bands like make fun of other bands, and I'm like, well, you know, they're they're you know that's what they do. They probably were listening their, to them. Uh, that's their yeah. I know. Seriously, ago, though. <laughs> they probably listened to that day. You can all right. Yeah. I can get that if I if I do that riff a little shorter. <laughs> I had a drum solo. If it's, if it's not not born out of commercial like to be commercial if you're just doing what you like and people happen to pick up on it and it becomes real popular it's not really selling out you know what I mean because you yeah. if you uh, like what you're playing and it's not like a job every day for you and you like love getting up on stage it doesn't matter what you're playing if, you, uh, if you're going through the motions you should just drop it right yeah, there yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean I think people too that go to shows and people that listen to CDs can kind of see through that too you know you can tell if, if you're kind of like you know, doing it for the wrong reason, so to speak. You know, because I mean, bands like our band and you know the other bands that are out there. I'm sure Pure Thirteen guys. Yes. Like, uh, you know, you'll go and we'll play a show for like the other bands and the bartenders just because we love to play. You know, I mean, that's just all part of the big game, I guess. Which we've yeah. done before. <laughs> <laughs> Playing for beer now. <laughs> okay. All what right. Else? Um. Hmm. What else? Uh, <laughs> are there any bands you guys want to plug? Like bands you think haven't seen like the light of e- either you guys, either oh, David or yeah. Um, 
bands that haven't seen the light of day or you know just I, wanna... I personally like a lot of local bands lately i've been getting into a lot of them all city creepers is one of my favorites i like mother mania a lot i like what they do i think they're really good um i like welt they're from they're from california we played with them they're on dr dream i like a, a lot of stuff like that pretty much lots getting, of independent stuff too yeah, mostly a, like worthless i like a lot yeah you know? they were up here they were up here a couple couple months ago on the hard you guys listen to hard times yeah yeah they were on there a couple weeks ago i think yeah, I'm, I'm, I know Steve. I know, yeah, you know, I know them. We yeah. play with them at the uh, casino par- uh, skate park a lot. That's what's cool. It seems like there's a lot of like, like camaraderie as far as like, even though there's not much of a, there's a scene, but there's like not really. The bands kind of you know? stick together. Yeah, you know, it helps I mean, each other out. Yeah, I mean we're we're friends with you know some of the guys like you know Vision, OS 101, um, Doc Hopper guys, like stuff like that. Um, you know they've all they're all great bands and. You know, I mean, some of them, like Vision and OS101, start, are starting to get, you know, some more attention now, but... Uh, well, that's bad. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> can't have that. Forget it. Yeah, People like, are actually not. <laughs> but like Dave said, like, a lot of the, uh, you know, local bands are great, like Worthless, Big Wig, Humble Beginnings. Um, you know, those guys are just, you know, they're just doing some really great things, you know, and it's like, it's hard because there is that stereotype of selling out if you start touring and selling oh, records yeah. and all that, you know, but eh, screw that. Yeah, for sure. Well, Who needs money, money, man? Money. Who needs to survive? What money? <laughs> what money? You mean there's money in this? Yeah. Money. Oh, money. That's how I got in a band. They found me sleeping in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what else? All right, um, you want to... Yeah, we're gonna play. We'll just play a track of. I'm sorry. We're gonna play. A tr- the, I want. I'm really anxious to hear this uh, guitar solo. There you go. Dude. So we got. Um, Jimi Hendrix. Yes. <laughs> the, the reincarnated. From the, from the rare tracks. It's one of the rare lost hidden there tracks off a demo in his basement where they found David. That's right. You channeled it through me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everybody feel it. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, Pure thirteen. For you. For you, coming from their recent. Okay. For years wasted. Why is it? Years wasted. Have you? Is it been? Has it been for years? Uh, it's sort of a, a, a play on words that right there. For you is spelled F O U R, if you could tell, and yeah. instead of F O R, and four years wasted is spelled F O R okay. instead of. It's a whole thing that I make up in my mind. I have a whole world in my own mind. That <laughs> so hey, that, that's what ma- that's what makes everybody unique, I guess. Right? Exactly. <laughs> but what you make of it out of your own is what's good about Pure Thirteen, because a lot of people relate to it. Even though I've written a lot of the stuff about myself and my own experiences, a lot of people can relate to it. I think. You said you you, you like Fifteen is one of your like. Um, one of the bands you really, you know, Definitely. connect with and stuff. Uh, do you write, like, political type of stuff like um, that, too? I don't. I try and stay away from that just because I really don't know a lot about it. I respect what, what he has to say when he says it, and I think it sounds better coming from him than if I tried to fake being yeah, political. Like, yeah. I write what I know about it. I agree with a lot of the stuff he talks about, but I think that there's enough bands saying their piece about that thing where I don't need to stand on a soapbox, you know? That's good enough. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, well, right. you want to play track? track number one. Number one. Uno. For you, from uh, the band Pure 13, when the band's playing tonight at WMCX Night at the Brighton Bar, Woo-hoo. we'll be there. With the guitar solo. <laughs> Here we go. It's a wacky guitar hey. solo. Killer. Woo. That was awesome. Okay, um, we are back. Soul of Jimmy. That was <laughs> <laughs> Run through my veins. The solo made that song. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, yeah, seriously. Right on. Okay, that was Pure 13. That was actually stolen from a Poison song. <laughs> <laughs> was, which one was it? <laughs> uh, maybe Talk Dirty to Me. CC DeVille, he channeled me, really. It wasn't <laughs> there you go. <laughs> if Rose has its stone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, um, well, where, what do you guys see yourself uh, in a five years or so? What are your uh, aspirations you got for the band? Dodgeball. Dodgeball. Guys. Homeless. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Living in a van down by the river now. <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's a good question. I mean, this, you know, the life of bands is so, like, you know, you never know what can happen, you know. I mean, hopefully we'll still be doing what we're doing right now. Um, you know, on a larger do, scale. <laughs> yeah, on a much larger scale, doing some more touring, you know, looking to... Uh, Maybe a record deal, you know, selling out pretty much. You know? <laughs> right. That's kind it's of the American way. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I, yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah, just kind of like you know, progressing. You know, writing songs, having fun. You know, having a good time. Cool. Uh, All right, Dave. Dave. Um, my plans for the future basically do the same thing. Just still write songs and record CDs, play music for basically myself and whoever else can get into it because it's kind of like therapy for me. I don't go to therapy because this is my <laughs> therapy. I can't afford and, uh, it. So. Yeah, and it's it's much easier to beat up on a guitar than a pillow. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, and I, I feel that people get my message, what I'm saying, because there is a message behind all the poppiness about it, you know. There's a deep message about people who are really depressed out there and, and really think that no one else understands what they're going through, and there are people that do, so. Cool. That's Just don't start writing like Real Big Fish, though. Right. <laughs> I feel all you guys if you start writing like Real Big Fish. I don't, I don't think I could. I don't think, <laughs> That's I don't not know, in me. I don't know where they come up. All right, do you have guys any wacky stories, like any crazy stuff that happened at, like, a show or whatever, or, like, during rehearsal? Dodgeball guys? Uh, well, we've, we've, 
Uh, I don't want to like cut people down, but we've had some few like. We don't have to mention you. You know, <laughs> yeah. protect the innocent. Or <laughs> yeah, I won't name any names, but we've tried out a few people along the way that have turned out to be some real wing nuts. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't know. We don't have anything real crazy that happened. Right? Um, a lot, a lot you guys are punk bands. It's got to be crazy. <laughs> I don't know. We're too young to have any good stories yet. You know? We haven't. The time haven't now that his head in the water cooler must drown. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of broken A strings. A lot of broken yeah. drum sticks. Broken strings, but that's the norm. You yeah. Know? Nothing uh, so far, nothing. I mean, I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen, though? Now some tonight's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Great. Sorry, I jinxed you guys. We're going to go there, and the Brighton's going to be on fire. <laughs> no, there will what, be no that Brighton. Would be our <laughs> that would be pure 13's fault. If <laughs> <laughs> Blame Pierre 13. Blame the drummer. If you drummer. want to hear about bad luck, then you ask that question to us. <laughs> what about, oh, come on. To all right, me, all right Dave, you got, you got, oh, sto- you got stories. Uh, not re- stories, really? just about, uh, about having lame, lame stuff happen to us, basically. Uh, my, our bass player has blown four amps in, in different shows, other uh, amps of other people's. What too. happens if I turn it up to nine? Uh, yeah, exactly. He, uh, the, the first time we started recording our CD, the, the power went out in the middle of recording it, and all the stuff got lost, oh, pretty much. Uh, so our drummer just broke his hand, like I said. Oh, um, I don't have a guitar amp, because my guitar amp blows, blew, so I have to borrow, thank God, to the All City Creepers and my friend Tom, who lets me borrow his amp all the time. So we have a really, really uh, bad, bad, bad luck streak, and I, I just broke a mirror about a week ago. Oh no! <laughs> can you can you see outside when we play? <laughs> no, I think so, man. I might have to stay away from the building. You know, so okay, don't you, fall down. You guys are playing One Man Army tonight. You guys have heard them before. You never heard One Man Army? They're really good. They're from um, they're from Berkeley. They're from cut right. from the same mold as like um, what would you what would you like this like, kind of like a crusty like, poppy right. pistols or something like that, like pistols type of stuff. You never heard, okay. They're they're off. I've, I've heard them off of off of here. To tell you the truth, I've heard their song on this radio station. That's about it, though. Probably during probably my shift. Probably on my shift. I'm the only one that plays them. They're like yeah. everybody's like calls up. Who the hell is One Man Army? <laughs> what is this crap? You're I'm like, hang up. They're they're playing it. Actually, uh, the night Pure Thirteen played the Saint, they were playing it in between the stage sets and stuff. There you go. And uh, it was uh, it sounded good. I mean, but. You know that was first listen in a club, so I don't know. Yeah, how, so it's it's yeah. How good of an opinion I can give? Well, you, you'll know, after tonight you'll know. You'll, 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 you'll take a listen. And you'll be like, hey, you was right. <laughs> you guys rock. You guys, you guys rock. Can I have your autograph? <laughs> you guys are from Berkeley. You know the scene. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know Liz? Cali. They're from California. They gotta be cool. Cali, they gotta be, they see they're from Cali. They gotta be cool. But they gotta be rock stars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they probably sold out. <laughs> no, I hope they're not. Haven't, you guys haven't this? sold oh, out yet. <laughs> We're trying to. Yeah. Okay. So is any anything else? Uh, any, my, my mind is blank. Your mind's blank. So is mine. Well, all right. Well, all I gotta say is, guys, thanks, thanks a lot thanks for coming in. For coming up. Thanks for, for having, having us. You, you guys are cool. Thank you. And yeah. uh, don't forget, you guys are playing tonight. Well, <laughs> yeah. don't oh, forget. Oh, oh, no. no. Okay, go back thanks to for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, tonight, uh, WMCX night, the Brighton Bar, every Wednesday night. Tonight at 9:30. Let's see if I can get this right this time. Okay. Dodgeball. Okay. Pure 13 and. Last minute, no. <laughs> I, almost, I almost had him. I almost had him. One man army. Yeah, all right. I did it. All right, D. Okay. All right. Uh, you want to uh, wrap this up? Uh, oh. Yeah. Is, so, is there anything else? Uh, uh, any, anything any, you want to get off your any chest? Of you any ex girlfriends? You want? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> you got an oh, look at you. <laughs> You're like, wait a minute. No. How much time do we have? I'll say what's up to <laughs> the whole Pure 13 crew who comes out to the shows all the time. I'll say that. I can't name everybody, but you know who you are, so do we. Thank you. Cool. You guys, Can any... we plug some upcoming shows? Sure. Let's go right ahead. The up at the Cove uh, on the 21st. We'll be at, uh, at the Saint with um, LES Stitches on the 5th. It's an all-age okay. show. And uh, 27th, we're playing uh, the, Birch the Birch Hill with Kiss 22 and Spectre 7 all day punk and ska fest. Did you guys hear about what happened at Birch Hill? Like about two months ago with MXPX show, Shades Apart? I heard about it. Nah. I was there. Yeah. It was... It was crazy. They, they sectioned had, it off or something. They had fan mail, all right, fan mail opened up, then uh, Shades Apart went on about halfway through their set. Somebody passed out during the show or something because like of heat exhaustion, and they kicked out like half the kids because they sold like they were selling. They sold like a hundred tickets at the at the door, yeah. and then places sold out as is. So, oh wow! And then like the the fire marshal came out. And he's just like fire marshal Bill. Fire marshal. <laughs> <laughs> he's that like, makes, yeah, that you kids are now out of here. <laughs> no, but they, they kicked the kids out and stuff, and it was like really pretty bad. The MXPX came on. They played, and what was cool. They played another show, but the kids got kicked out. So oh, cool. it was crazy though, but I vowed like I'm never going back. But I probably <laughs> then I, my band comes back, I'll be like, yeah, I'll go there. Come check us out. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, David, any shows coming up for you guys? Um, probably not in the future since our drummer's got a broken hand. But you know, look for our name. We'll be out there. We play a lot usually, but the CD, like I said, should be coming out end of the summer. Check it out. Usually we sell them at uh, Black Cat Records. I don't know. There you go. <laughs> 
I go there, so I'll see you there. <laughs> That's about what I can say. I shop there. Uh, in my opinion, it's good. In my opinion, yeah. it's good. In my, good. Opinion, it's good. <laughs> in my opinion, yes. <laughs> I uh, thumbs up. I'll see you there. I'll see you there. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh, that wraps it up. Yeah, you want to uh, play? Yeah, play? we'll play track for right. Mother Mania. Okay. Uh, nice. As one of you uh, mentioned before, you want to uh, push Mother Mania. So okay, we're... Wanna... What? Yeah. yeah so... Mother Mania. Good friends of mine. I'm friends with Sammy. Brandon, they come out to the shows a couple times. They're good friends. All right. Good, uh, good, 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 band. Good, good, good. Once again, thanks for uh, coming up, guys. I uh, appreciate it. And uh, yes. everyone out there, for, uh, don't forget that uh, they're playing tonight, w- uh, WMCX night at the Brighton Bar. So, and Dodgeball, Pure 13, and One Man Army. Just one last time. All right. Okay. So we're going to play uh, Mother Mania to close this thing out. Yellow number five, which is like what I, I think. I, I think everybody plays this at least once during. No. <laughs> this one. Yes. Oh, okay. I, I play, everybody plays that once at least during their shift. I don't know. It's like it's like a given. It's like I have to play Sam. I am. She she found you. Like I hear that all the time. You notice that? Oh. Every time I turn the radio on, it's like that. That's playing. Then it's like I always hear the push center. mini disc. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Thanks a lot, guys. Again. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks for having us. Cool. Hey, baby. You wanna-